Hello? Why are you like this? So, that's weird. This looks, honestly, it's suggestive. Hey guys, so today I want to do a little something different. So this room sounds empty and echoey now because the floor was a foot deep with makeup and it is not a foot deep with makeup anymore. My husband and I went through and we cleaned this entire room and getting rid of hundreds and hundreds of pieces of makeup. I'm doing a huge giveaway soon, so stay tuned for that. It'll probably be live on my Instagram, probably where I'm gonna do it. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should, because that's where I'm gonna announce it. I don't think I'm gonna say anything on YouTube, not to be weird about it, but because Instagram's the easiest and quickest way that I can just be like, hey, here's a bunch of makeup, do you want it? It's gonna be mystery box giveaways, so you're not gonna know what's in the box, you're not gonna know what you're getting, but I can tell you, because I packed the boxes, that there is a lot of makeup in them. They are the flat rate boxes. Full. and each one has at least a few palettes in it, a ton of lip products, some cheek stuff, like there's lots of stuff in it. I don't know exactly what's in each box. Again, like I said, it's totally random, but if you guys are interested in that, make sure you're following my Instagram because I'm definitely gonna be doing some giveaways very soon. But today what I wanna do is I wanna do some first impressions, but I also wanna do some second impressions. <sighs> the thing is, is when you do YouTube and you're trying out a lot of makeup all the time because new stuff is releasing, constantly, as you guys know, as viewers on this platform. Sometimes you are always trying new things and you're not going back and trying the old things. And there have been some products. I mean, recently, YouTube's recommending me my own videos, which is really weird. YouTube, they're, they're mine. But it did work because I did click on a few of them because I wanted to see what I was using in some of them. And man, I wanted to do a couple of second impressions. Some of the stuff today that you guys are gonna see me try, you're gonna have seen me try before. Some of it's brand new, but I wanna try out a few things. Like I did that video. I don't know if you guys have seen it. If you haven't yet, it's gonna be up here. It is the doing my face like an Instagram video video and that one I was basically using like the Farsali drops, the Beauty Blender foundation, like I was doing all this and the way my skin looked in that video, it's fucking good. That was good. <laughs> that was really, really good. So I want to have that skin again and I exfoliated my skin today and oh man alive am I soft. You may see sparkles all over my face. That is because I took a bath last night and I used bath bomb from Lush. I don't know what it was but it left me completely sparkly. My entire bathroom is sparkly. Zach is still sparkly. I took a shower this morning, washed my hair, still sparkly. I, I am a twilight vampire. It's not my fault. Okay, Lush, I blame you. So let's just disregard the sparkles. Maybe the foundation can cover it. But when I did that Instagram makeup video, man, my skin looked good. I'm gonna try to do kind of what I did in that video again today to see if I like the products again. I just wanna give it a second try and see. Now, when I tried the Farsali drops in that video, I felt like they were breaking my skin out. Remember, I was like, oh, I feel like it's kind of like causing some breakouts. We'll see if that happens again today. If you guys are excited for this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And let's just try things out. It was good going through my makeup room because I found some things that I am excited about. If you guys do follow me already on Instagram, you guys may have seen in my stories that I found that a brand sent me, it's all in this baggie here, a brand named JD Glow Cosmetics sent out some like little pigments and multi-chromes. Multi-chromes, if you don't know, are like pigments, but they shift multiple different colors, they're not just duo. Like you may see like something like this, let's say. Let's see if you can tell on camera. But it's like gingery color and purple and red and it ships all different colors. They sent out a bunch of multi-chromes. They also sent out single shadows. Let me just tell you, cameras cannot capture how stunning these products are. Now, a bunch of them did explode in the mail, so it's even more glitter. They're all covered in sparkles. That's why they're in this little baggie. But I kind of wanted to try some of these out today because they look amazing. They also sent the pigments out with mixing medium. They sent three mixing mediums, which seems like overkill for how many, I feel like this would last me my entire life unless I'm using these every day. But what I found with this mixing medium is that I tried a little bit of it on my hand and I mix it in with one of the multi-chromes and put it on the back of my hand and it does not Budge. I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram story. I'll try to put it up here if I can. I was like wiping it on my hand and like rubbing over the top of it and it doesn't move. So I'm interested to see what that's like on my eye. I think I would mix it like on a little palette or something, mix it up and then like paint it on. These colors are like unbelievable. I've really never heard of this brand before, but like, I don't know if you guys can just see. Okay, here's the thing about cameras. You guys know they suck and that they can't show things as good as they are. What it really fails to do is show the sparkle. You guys know when you go into like a jewelry 
jewelry store, you're in a Fred Meyer and you walk past Fred Meyer Jewelers, you're in a Costco and you see a little ring display. You know how the light, how they sparkle like nothing you've ever seen before? It's because it's more of like a low light and there's something about that. When I worked at a bead store, yes, I worked in a bead store, we had like a Swarovski crystal display case in there and it had a special type of lighting on it to where, bitch, it looked like the sparkliest diamond you've ever seen in your damn life. That's what this camera does the opposite of. These beauty lights and the camera make sparkle look stupid. Like it just looks like, oh wow, cool. But in real life, when these beauty lights aren't on and it's just the low lighting of my room, literally cry worthy good. So just keep that in mind when I'm showing you today. I'll try to like maybe get some sort of video somehow of what the sparkle really looks like because there's such fine glitter. There's glitter and then there's these. And these are like, the finest, most beautiful glitter I feel like I've ever seen in my entire life. Some of these colors, I was like screaming over the other day. I wasn't screaming, I went, oh, but you know, same, same thing. Yeah, they're like, oh, I can't even explain. That just looks like white on camera. It doesn't even look that cool. But then when you see it, ah, oh, man, I don't know, like, let me try to turn the lights down or, okay. That does help a little bit. That's like what I see with my eyes. See how like it just gives that like most stunning thing. The most stunning thing, Christy. Wow, cool explanation, you idiot. That does help a little bit. See how it just catches the light? But if you were wearing these and you were out and you wanted to just like absolutely sparkle from across the room, these would do that. There's one in here, bitch. This is the shade Empress. Oh my God, I literally wish you could understand. But it is helping a little bit, like as you can see how it looks on my hands. Yeah, look at that. But just know when I'm dying over a sparkle, the reason that you're probably like, wow, oh, cool, is because this ruins everything. We're, you know, what? I'm gonna quit talking about what I'm gonna try and I'm just going to try it. When I did that doing my face like an Instagram video, video, I used the Farsali Skin Tune Blur and the Unicorn Essence. I think today I'm just gonna use the Skin Tune Blur because I used both of them so much in that video. I literally put like 10 layers on, you know, just trying to be a jokester. But today I just wanna try the Skin Tune Blur because I've heard good things and I've also tried it. So I've heard good things also from myself. Oh, look at that. It's like all dried out in there. It's like gluey. Okay, that's bothersome. Okay, that. I have never hated anything more than that. Hate it. All right, maybe it just keeps going. It just keeps going. Hello? Why are you like this? Are you ever gonna break off? Hello? How long is this gonna get? Oh, so that's weird. And it's like thick and you can tell that it's like solidified in there because it's been a few months since I've actually used this. So that's not very promising. So if you're gonna get this, maybe don't. They scented it like watermelon or something. Very muchly dislike that bigly. This one's not bad. This one kind of smells like candy or cotton candy or something. But this one smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher, but like, not good. Still gonna use it. Oh, this looks, honestly, it's suggestive. I'm sorry. Now it smells like cinnamon? Toast crunch? Oh yeah. Okay, now I remember using this. Okay, it's gluey. It is gluey. I forgot that it feels like this on my skin. Feels like um thick. I don't know if you can, it's not sticky, isn't the word for it. Thick -y. Oh, I hate myself. It's thick though, it feels like Elmer's glue, but not sticky, almost silicone-y. It does dry down though, which is really, it's such a unique product, but I feel like, because this is called Skin Tune Blur, but this does seem like it does something. Now, primers to me feel like a huge gimmick. I understand that with paint, primer works because it adheres it. Does it actually work for my skin? I don't know. You guys have been hearing me say this for years. I've never seen a difference ever, but maybe this is the one that causes the difference because I did notice that when I did do that Beauty Blender foundation that day, it looked freaking so good. Okay, and this is the Beauty Blender Bounce. I think it's called Bounce Foundation, yeah. When I used it before, I feel like my skin looked really, really flawless. It just looked like completely airbrushed. So maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, I'm removing the primer from this side of my face so we can see if there is a difference or if it's just the foundation. Because in that Instagram video, I definitely noticed a difference, but I wonder if 
it's the primer or not. Okay, so the left side of my face is primed. This side is not. And yeah, I definitely can feel a difference now. This one feels like, you know how silicone primers feel? That's what it feels like. If you don't know how this thing works, it's pretty freaking cool. I think it's probably one of the coolest foundation packaging I've seen, but it's got like an off and on button here. And then you can see that when it's off, you cannot press this down so you can travel with it. When it's on, you also can't press it down. Okay, there we go. There we go. And the foundation comes out of there and it gets onto here and then you use your beauty blender with it. I didn't wet my beauty blender. Crap. So what was this one? This side had the, so I'm gonna do this side first since it doesn't have any primer and I don't want any to get on here. I'm using a beauty blender with it because it is the beauty blender foundation. So. But a lot of times I do use my It Cosmetics Love as a foundation brush most of the time. I haven't done a new foundation in a long time. I've been using the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation for literally months, but it's time to change it up. <laughs> it's time. You know what? I feel like I'm getting a little bit of breakout right here again. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see? That wasn't there before. My face was feeling real good before that. Maybe this skin tune blur is just it's not for me. First time I did it, I put on so much foundation because I was trying to do makeup like Instagram people and we know, we know how they do. I'm trying to do a little bit less this time so I can retest it without it being just like overkill. All right, so this is a side without primer. So far, I'm feeling like it doesn't look as good as the first time if I remember. It's got great coverage though, my God. Bruh. When I went to put my shoes on today, I went to go put them on and I just, you ever slip your feet into a pair of shoes and you're like, is there a spider in my shoes? And you just have that feeling that like, so I always tap my shoes out before I put them on because I'm like, I'm not about to put my foot in to a wriggly spider. And that didn't happen, okay, that didn't happen. But I had a feeling, I was like, I don't know, I feel weird, maybe I should check near my shoes. So I literally put my foot down and there was a spider like this big dead right next to my shoe. I think my cat got it in the night, thank you. You the real one? But oh my God, it was so big and its legs were all curled in. <laughs> it was horrifying. So, check your shoes. One time I put a pair of boots on when I was working at the wildlife rehab and there was a big ass wriggly spider on the inside. One of those big bodied suckers. Okay, let's see if I can see a difference in either side. You know what? Okay, so second impression. Both sides look equally bad. <laughs> My nose is looking particularly bad. It just looks makeup-y and it's not covering as well as I remember. See how dry it kind of looks? It also didn't go into my nose crevice at all, which is not every foundation does that, but some of them do that. But it just looks dry and makeup-y and my forehead looks like absolute butt shit. So I, I don't know. Off second impression, I'm less impressed than my first. So let's try to use a hydrating concealer. So for concealer today, I want to try the new ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. This is the Hyaluron creamy concealer and I've got a couple different shades here I've got fair 20n and then I've got medium 90w I think I'm gonna try this one this may be a little bit dark but you know I'm looking a little bit pale right now this is the shade medium 90w oh this might be a little too dark Okay, well, I'm gonna mix two shades then. So if you guys did not know, the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, the regular one, my ultimate favorite. Love it so much. It is amazing. Now this is the Pretty Fresh. This is a hyaluronic concealer. I did not love the Pretty Fresh skin tint at all, but maybe it's just me. Maybe ever, I've seen other people really, really like it. Okay, I'm gonna layer a little bit of this one because the color is just so wrong. This is the shade Fair 15W. I don't know, I just am not a fan of that. It didn't look that good on me, but maybe it's just me. So we'll see if we like this concealer. We, we'll see if we like this. I'm one person, I think. <laughs> I mean, I love the no filter. It's such a good concealer for me. It's polarizing though. Some people freaking hate it. Okay, so it's been officially 34 minutes since you saw me put that concealer on because my sister called me and we had a conversation. So you can see what happens when the concealer dries down. <laughs> As you can see, it does crease a bit on my eyelids. I have noticed that I've had to keep tapping it out over the last like 30 or so minutes. So given that it is a hyaluronic acid concealer, it should be very hydrating. I'd say it does dry down matte though. My under eyes don't look super hydrated and I do feel like it is sitting in the creases a bit. I didn't powder it, but it totally dries down. So if you are thinking that it's gonna be like a super luminous concealer, I wouldn't say that it is. When it goes on, it's definitely nice and creamy and hydrating. This one just feels like, kind of like the ColourPop no filter, if I'm being honest. It almost looks more drying on my under eyes. Yeah, 
You know what I've noticed is hyaluronic acid is supposed to make your skin like very plump and very hydrated. I feel like it does the opposite for me. I don't know. And I, I don't know why that is, but my under eyes look pretty dry right now. And so, yeah, just so you know. So I wanna use the new Ofra Pro palette. So this is the Ofra Pro palette that just launched. It's called the Soul palette. And they launched one like this last year. I'll show you, I've used it a ton. So this has a bunch of like, kind of warmer shades. I remember the same, very similar one launching last year. This is what it looks like here. And I've used this one a ton. Now, this is something interesting to note. My shades, especially the bronzer in here, has got these little white marks all over it. Now, I don't know that they're mold. I don't know what they are, but there's like little white specks all over it. So I'll show you the difference between the two palettes. So this is last year, as you can tell, it's real dirty. And this is this year. I feel like it's very similar. It's just a little different in the way that it has two highlighters instead of the bronzer in there, which is kind of like, eh. I think I'd much prefer something like this that has the bronzer and the highlighters versus two highlighters. It's actually got three because it's got that little one as well. They're very similar. So I don't know if it's one of those things where you would need both. They're different in colors, but like not different enough. Yeah, anyway, cool. I already said that. I did get a lot of use out of this though. I really, really like it. I used it for like months and months, but mostly because the bronzer is in there as well. So it was like a really rounded face palette. So I think I'm just gonna use the bronzer from the old O for a pro palette that I have. So I'm gonna go with my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro number two brush, just kind of a larger brush. I'm gonna dip into that shade and I'm just gonna bronze up with that real quick. I obviously did my brows off camera too because I was sitting there chatting with my sister so I figured I might as well do something productive. That's nice, it's kind of a little bit heavy. I might've gone a little too heavy handed with it. I didn't want to go like overboard with the bronzer. I think I like the blush color in the old Ofra Pro palette better. I don't know that this one is still available. That's way more of a color that I would wear. But this new one is another thing I really dislike about these palettes while I like them in one way. I don't know if you guys can tell how dirty this is. It's absolutely so dirty because it's got this like really matte, cardboard look to it. I like the shape and size and everything of the palette, but it just gets really messy really quickly. All right, so I'm gonna try this blush from the palette here, and this is the shade B29. This is one of those shades that looks very pigmented. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm gonna tap that off on my hand so it's not like crazy overkill. All right, now I'm gonna try the highlighter. So this shade for me looks like it would just be a little too dark. This is the shade Soho. And then this one is All of the Lights, which is I think like a ton of their highlighters mixed together. This guy right here is Sahara Dawn. I feel like this palette, maybe it is an extension of the other Ofra Pro palette, but this one is for deeper skin tones. And that's almost how it comes off to me because these shades are a lot deeper. And then these highlighters seem like they're for more deep skin tones. Whereas the other one, this is the Boho palette. This is like blissful highlight, which I love so much. This is Rodeo Drive, which is another one of my favorite highlights. So, so I'm gonna go in, I think I'll try this highlighter and see kind of what it looks like on my skin. It looks stunning. Uh, Ofra highlighters are one of my favorite formulas. They are unbelievable. You know, it really doesn't cast a darkness. I thought it would, but it really doesn't. A Little bit maybe, not bad. That's a really pretty highlighter. I quite like that shade. It's like a really beautiful goldy, rose goldy shift. It's really beautiful, but it doesn't look like super fakey. So I'm gonna spray my brush, I think, with a bit of the Morphe Prep and Set. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that I might have a code. My managers asked me like, do you want one? I was like, I mean, guess I could have one. And I think if I recall correctly, unless it was a joke, my code is RBK10. What is happening? Don't worry, I'll never push it on you. This is probably gonna be the last time I mention it. Maybe, I don't know. We can't, who's to say? I'm never gonna be a Morphe code pusher. Okay, I just wet my brush a little bit because I wanna see if it like, oh yeah. Sometimes wetting your brush first can really help. You can use any setting spray. You don't have to use the Morphe one, but it can just help it like almost melt into the skin in like a more, I mean, obviously it's like really intense looking. This is also the different shade, by the way. I'm like kind of testing out the other shade. Okay, that looks too white on my face. I'm gonna take my blush brush and kind of tap it over, kind of tone that down a little bit. I went a little overkill, but I do like how wet it almost makes it look when you use the setting spray with it. I'm gonna go back in with that like goldy shade that I tried first. I know this is overkill, but I'm just having fun. That gives me like a gold mustache. That's not cute. I feel like I look pretty textured. I'm gonna spray my face a little bit.
My skin's just textured. It's not the highlight. I mean, the Ofra highlights can almost bring out more texture because they are so, so bright. So just keep that in mind if you have very textured skin. If you have really, really super soft, very untextured skin. What's the other word for texture? What's the opposite of texture? Smooth. If you have very smooth skin, you may not have an issue with this, but I don't, so. I do. All right, as you can see, this has creased yet again. So you may definitely wanna set your eyelids with powder. I'm not going to. I read this shade as French Montana, but it's French Mocha. I was wondering how they would be able to make a shade that name. So I'm gonna go in with like the most cool tone brown that I can, probably both of these shades down here. I don't want this to be warm because I wanna be able to use more like bluey colors and stuff like that. I'm gonna dip into a little bit of that lighter one on the bottom. I think that one is French Mocha. French Montana is literally where my mind goes every time. Oh, that's very pigmented. I wanna like take this a little bit higher. This like cool tone shade, you can kind of like almost contour-y with it. contour -y. name my new daughter. I almost did it again, you guys. I don't. My skin on my nose, she is not cute. This is not the right brush for this. I need like a fluffier brush. This one is not good. Take this little, okay, this is a better size. I needed like a fluffier, more pointy brush. The other one was more like a flat paddle brush and it's not what I was going for at all. Ofra shadows work great. I love the formula of them. They're really easy to blend. There's no problems that I ever have with them at all. These are the type of palettes. I think, like I said before, I do wish this one would have had the bronzer in it and it would have been perfect for me. I think that these palettes are something that for some reason I reach for because it is kind of all in one and that's what I'm looking for when I want to do my makeup. And I usually, if I'm doing my makeup like off camera, I want it to go fast. I don't want to have like 80,000 products sitting in front of me. Just kind of want to like have it all easily accessible. And that's why I really like these pro palettes because they're so user friendly because you have your highlights, your eyeshadows and well, your bronzer in the other one. And it's really nice. So come on, Ofra. Keep the bronzer. I wonder if the Boho palette's still available. Let me look. Yes, the Boho Pro palette is still in stock. It's $99. Oh, refillable. Oh, so it looks like you can buy the Pro. Oh yeah, I can see that. Looks like they come, You they sell like refills for this. So if you run out of one shade, you, instead of buying the whole new palette, you just pop in a new refill. That's cool. But I think that $99 is very expensive. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? $99? Um, I would think this palette should be closer to 60. I mean, you do get two full size highlighters, which are like 30 bucks on Ofra already. And then you get a mini highlighter, eight eyeshadows, a blush, a bronzer and a finishing powder, still. Okay, like 65, maybe 70, I don't know, $100 seems like really expensive. I don't know that I would buy it for $100. I'm just saying for myself personally, like if I hadn't received it in PR, is it something I would go out and buy for $100? I don't know, I, I like it a lot and I think you guys will like it too. I don't think any of you guys are gonna hate having it but I don't know that I can recommend buying it for that expensive. Maybe you can get like a discount. Oh, I think I heard Jen Loves Reviews say that Ofra's website charges more than you can get it on Ulta. Let me look how much it is on Ulta. It's $79. I don't know, but I re recall Jen saying that if you use her code at checkout, which I think is Jen, then you could get the Ulta price instead of the Ofra Cosmetics price. I don't know why there would be that. That's really weird to me, but just so you guys know. So that's really all I'm gonna do for my eyes for the shadow. I know that's not that crazy, but I really want the drama to be from these. I think this is the shade that I wanna go in with. This is the shade Empress. Look at that color. Stop it. When I say stop it, I mean don't stop it and never stop again. All right, so this is the Stay Put Mixing Medium. And I think... Okay, like the Farsali Skin Tune Blur, the smell of this is unbelievable. It smells... Okay, so it's... A denatured alcohol, acrylates, there's a bunch of stuff in it. Regardless of any of that, the smell is, I think they tried to cover like the alcoholy smell with watermelon Jolly Rancher and they succeeded, but it is far overwhelming and it's not something that I would feel like I wanna put on my eyes. I'm going to, but I don't want to. So I'm actually gonna mix it on this little piece of plastic that I have here. I don't have like a mixing palette, but that was from the Ofra thing. And I wanna be able to show you guys, I would just mix it on my table cause like I'm that kind of person, but trying to be a little bit less of, 
you know, that bitch. So this is the pigment here. It comes in this little pot. You unscrew the top. These are very messy. Well, pigments generally are, which is why I always prefer like a liquid shadow. You know, we get what we get and we don't throw a fit. So I'm going to pour some of this out on here. Hello? I think that's plenty, yeah. So I'm gonna try to mix all this up together. There's the, the, I don't know that this is a step I would take every day, but for a special occasion, it might be really, really cool. Let's see what we can do. Oh my God. This almost reminds me of a pigment that I had from Makeup Geek. I don't know if you guys remember the pigment called Utopia. I think I still have it. This reminds me of that, but like finer and less chunky. It's like a antique gold color. I think I'm gonna take a bit of that on my finger and just pat it over the top to get that super glitteriness back into it. I'm gonna turn the lights down for you guys, don't you worry. Okay, I'm gonna turn the lights down and shine my phone at my face. I don't know that that does it. When it's out of focus, look look how amazing it looks when it's out of focus. I'm gonna put my hand here so it focuses, look at this. I do want to try one of the pressed shadows over the top to see kind of just what that does. And this is the color that is like really getting me there. This is the color Fairy Acid from the Galaxy Collection. I feel like this will complement it really, really well. And this is what it looks like here. <laughs> These may be the most beautiful shadows I I've ever seen. I went up too high. Went up too high. Let's try to tap that out. Oh God, it's getting worse. Let's make it look intentional. You could honestly pat mixing medium on too. I'm gonna try that. I'm just gonna pat like mostly mixing medium on my eye and then I'll just pat the dry glitter over the top and see if there's a difference there. <sighs> okay, and as you can see, there's just so much fallout on my cheeks. Not the cleanest look I've ever done. But you know, if you threw a pair of lashes on or even just did like lots of mascara, maybe I'll just do like a really smoky mascara look with this today. So I was looking, 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 looking through my liners to find the right one. And I thought I would find it in like Urban Decay or something, but what I did find that I think is gonna work are these liners from Milani. And I've never tried these before. And this is called the Metallic Lights Liner. This color might be the one I found too. Ooh, okay. This one matches the best, like it totally goes. I'll put it on, if it looks bad, I'll wipe it off. Just doesn't give me the vibe I was going for. Maybe I'll layer this other one on top, which is the shade Brown Burst. That kind of works. And maybe I'll run a little bit of that shade from the Pro Palette underneath that so that it's a little bit smokier on the bottom. I'm gonna curl my lashes and put some mascara on. I really haven't seen anyone talking about this, but this is the IT Cosmetics Lash Blowout, and it's kind of cute, look at this. The tube looks like you're doing your hair, looks, looks like a brush. It looks like a very wet formula, but I wanna try this out and see how I like it. It's an interesting brush, look, it's like, Tilted? I don't know. I have a feeling I'm not gonna like this because it looks like a really, really wet formula. Whoa, whoa, it is. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Wow, my lashes are like at attention. Those are some freaking lashes, dude. Can you guys see that? Wow, my lashes never look like that if I don't wear lashes, like false ones. At least for me, my lashes are really minuscule. You guys have seen. I feel like that's really cute. I feel totally fine without lashes with this look. I quite like it. I quite like it. This is a product that since I saw it come out online, I have wanted to try it and it's 
perfect for this because I don't want to go too bold with my lips at all as usual. But this, the ad got me, Michelle, the ad got me. This is the M Cosmetics Quartz Clear Lip Gloss, a crystal lip gloss. The ad, the way that it just was, you know what I'm talking about? They went and they did like that robotic arm shoot. She she put a whole thing up on her YouTube channel about it, but it got me and it made me want to try it. And I've heard that the formula is really comfortable. It's called Morning Dew, perfect name for me. So I want to try this today and I don't want to really do anything else to my lips. I hope that it's as good as I think it's going to be because, okay, it has a really mild smell, which I love, but I love a clear lip gloss. You guys know this about me. There's just something that's magical about a clear lip gloss. Plain, simple, love them. Let's see if this lives up to the test of my favorites. The Lunar Beauty Dreamy Gloss, which I use almost every day. The Patrick Ta, she's an influencer, I think is the name of the gloss. So beautiful, it's the lightest one with like the sparkles. Love that gloss. It's seriously one of the best I've ever used. Oh. So the glossiness, <laughs> look at it. It's next level, it's so beautiful. My lips look so juicy, comfortable. I would say compared to the Dreamy Gloss, compared to the Patrick Ta Gloss, slightly stickier, but not bad. It's nothing like the Glossier Gloss, which that one is so like thick and sticky, but like in the best way. This is, I would call between Glossier and the Manny MUA like Lunar Beauty Gloss. I'd say it's right in the middle. It's comfortable. I could see myself definitely wearing this every single day. Um, it's very glossy. That's what I like. I want it to be like so much that it's like overwhelmingly wet. That's what she said. Let's do a rundown because I think that's my full face. It feels like it went so fast because I'm not wearing lashes. We're gonna start off with my skin. I'm gonna zoom you guys in, turn the lights down and we can see. Both sides look exactly the same to me. I don't see a difference between the skin tune blur and the non skin tune blur. So I don't know that it actually did blur my skin my nose actually looks really really bad right here on this side maybe when I was putting bronzer or something on it like kind of rubbed off some of the foundation so it looks really bad on this side this side looks a little better so maybe the skin tune blur did hold it on better on that side I'm not sure my under eyes with the ColourPop concealer fine but nothing to write home about nothing like terrible but I would probably not switch to this one over my regular no filter concealer just love that one so much. This one looks fine. I feel like it did like cover up my under eye bags. Doesn't like look remarkable. I definitely see some creasing, which happens to the best of us. If you have creases in your under eye, which if you're a human, you most likely do. My skin definitely looked better in that video that I did the Instagram video. I think because I put the Farsali Skin Tune Blur, the Unicorn Essence, like six layers of those. Then I caked on the foundation. Then I caked on the powder. Maybe that had something to do with it. I used the Huda Beauty like pound cake uh, powder. So I, I don't hate it. It doesn't look bad or anything like that. It just doesn't look good. Like this isn't my perfect skin by any means. I'd love to ask and know if any of you guys know a very, very close cruelty-free dupe for L'Oreal Pro Glow. I miss it. I miss my favorite foundation. L'Oreal Pro Glow, of all foundations I've ever used in my entire life, beyond the pure four in one, beyond the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir, which they discontinued, those sons of bitches. The L'Oreal Pro Glow is my number one favorite foundation. And because L'Oreal is not cruelty free, I don't use it. I, I, I miss it. I miss it so dearly. So if you guys know anything that's very similar, Fenty Hydrating is just too hydrating and it doesn't seem like a close dupe to me. I just miss it. I miss my friend. And by friend, I mean the thing that made me look better and less dry. My bronzer for the uh, Boho palette, I really like. I do definitely wouldn't pay $99 for it. I would pray, maybe pay like $70 for that whole palette. It's still very expensive, but it does have your eyeshadows, bronzer, highlight, and blush in there. So it, it does kind of cover the full spectrum, which is like almost a full face of makeup if you consider it that way. Um, so if that's something that you're looking for, I think that price would be better, but I definitely wouldn't pay the full 99 ever. I think that this new palette is pretty. I like the highlighter color. I definitely feel like with the glitter fallout, it's making it look ultra glittery. The colors in the palette are pretty. Is it something, again, I would reach for every day? Because it doesn't have the bronzer, no, but it is pretty. It's not like anything that's gonna like blow me away. But I definitely think this one is better suited for deeper skin tones in my opinion, but it does work for me. So maybe like a medium. The eyeshadows, okay. They are 
unbelievable. For me, they're more of a special occasion type of eyeshadow because there's such a pain in the ass to work with, meaning you have to get out the, the dropper and all that kind of crap and you have to, these are like loose. I'd way prefer them in a consistency like this. Like I'm almost always gonna reach for one of these over one of those. Even though those are so stunning and they're one of the more beautiful things I've ever seen, I would almost always go for like a Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow. They're just easier to work with. You don't have to worry about getting out the mixing medium and pouring them onto a little thing and then dipping your finger in and getting all this fallout. There is no fallout because they're liquid glitter. For me, I'm always gonna reach for one of those over one of these, that's just the case, but they are stunning. I think the colors are beautiful. And honestly, they're, they're just like, they're unreal looking. And if you want that really metallic, really glittery, really beautiful shadow like these, and you really like the look of these, I think you might like these a lot. Their multi-chromes are stunning. Stunning. I have to try those out in a video. I just wanted to try these at least today. This color I thought was really beautiful. Um, let me know what you guys think about this color. This is so stunning. Again, the color that I'm wearing is Empress. And then I also used some of this shade, which is Fairy Acid. And I like those as well. Those are a regular pressed shadow. Just gorgeous. I love the colors. They chose really unique shades for everything. Like, especially this one. I'll swatch this for you real quick. Look at this shade. It, it's just, it's cry worthy. It's like one of the most beautiful shades I think I've ever seen in my life. This is the shade Unexpected. Look at this. Look at that shade. What is even happening? It's so stunning. Look, it's like coppery red one way, boom. And then it's like silvery and then it's like bluey. It's absolutely gorgeous. They're so soft, so buttery, so pigmented. Just like they're unbelievable. Look at that. What is even happening? How is that a real thing? Tap some of that on my eye. It's too beautiful. I'm gonna tap a little. Oh, stunning. I love it. Oh my God, JD Glow. Fuck me up with this eyeshadow. Holy shit. I'm ready for a Christmas party. I don't think you'll be disappointed in JD Glow at all. If you get any of their shadows, these are so stunning. They're so buttery. They feel like nothing I've ever felt before, like lovely. So I am loving those. Thank you so much for sending them my way. As far as the mascara goes, let me look and see if it's kind of stayed the way that it was. Yeah, these, this mascara is really nice. Again, this is the It Cosmetics Lash Blowout. It really is so voluminous. I mean, I did curl my lashes first, but if you're looking for like that really oomphy lashes. These are gorgeous. I really love the NYX On The Rise mascara. This one is more oomphy, I think, in the way of, it's almost like more of a whipped texture so that it really like coats your lashes. Whereas the On The Rise, you get more, um, it's more buildable, I feel. This one kind of gives it to you right at the first punch. So keep that in mind. But wow, this is a really nice mascara and I'm gonna keep using that for sure. Then the M Cosmetics Gloss. I love this too. I don't know if it's gonna give me that white ring. I do feel like it's kind of building up. I don't know if it gives you the white ring. I hate the white ring though. Anybody else? Such a beautiful glossy gloss. I feel like it's so pretty. Overall, I feel like this face of makeup was pretty good. I kind of think it's fun to do like first impressions mixed with second impressions. I definitely am less impressed with the Beauty Blender foundation this time around. However, it does have good coverage. The color matches me really well on this one. And I'm gonna try it again because I wanna see, I wanna get it back to that level it was in that other video. I think my face of makeup is really pretty. Up close, my nose looks like absolute, total and utter butt shit. Look at my nose. Terrible, right? I know, you don't have to tell me. Ooh, I think I need one of these. Yes, that's what I needed. Sometimes a good nose spraying can really help. Sometimes it'll make you look like you jogged a mile because your upper lip is sweaty. Morphe continuous sweating mist. I hate myself. All right, you guys, and that is the finished video. I hope you guys like this video and that you guys like the makeup and that this was fun for you to watch. Let me know if you guys like seeing me try things for a second time instead of just the first. I know that you guys do. Of course you do. Why would you want to just see me try things for the first time? I'm kind of an iffy, I like them both. I like to watch people try things for the first time, but I want to know later. Are they still, are they good like you thought they were the first time or do you think it? So okay, good, great. All right, you guys, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you like this style of video. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. That lets me know that you like this video instead of you having to say it, but you can say it too in the comments. I do read them and I appreciate them. Unless they're mean, then I spiral. All right, well, I thank you guys so much and I will see you at my next video. Bye. I got the thumbnail in there. That's it. So, if you guys are interested...
lifting. No. I think if you were wearing these and you were out and about, out and about, am I 97? Let me find it. Ah! I dropped it. Uh -huh. I have never hated anything more than that. Hey Siri, is Farsali cruelty free? Sorry, I couldn't quite hear you. Could you please repeat what you said? No, you stupid bitch. I won't respond to that. Well, no, no, fuck you. I'm so orange. There's a hair. All right, let's see if I can Is this Morphe again? Get out of here. Morphe. I swear to God, every rock and brush I have in front of me is Morphe. I didn't have that for years. But I, I like, I like, think, like, like, like. Trying to make it look intentional by putting like shimmer. Never cut me off, you little bitch. Am I orange? Yes. Oh, oh. Oh, it's getting worse as I'm sitting here. <sighs> Why must you be orange? They live in my purse. The, hello? Wow, it really is so volume, volume. Let me know if you guys like me seeing try thing. Let me know if you guys like seeing try things. 